Yeah, can you guys see? Yeah, you can probably see. Well, good morning, guys. It's the next day. And, dude, I have a story for you of what has happened the last, like, three hours or so. Um, Dustin and I woke up at 4 a.m., drove out to this random spot that we've never been to. We had to pull my sled, literally a mile and a half to two miles, through the snow, which sucked. It was it was so hard to pull that thing. We literally took so many breaks and stuff like that. Get all set up, drop our baits down. We come to find that there's current here. So basically, hold on. When we drop our baits down, you can't see it on any of our sonars. Can't see it on the Garmin, can't see it on the flasher, nothing. Literally, you can't see anything. So we are kind of like, oh my God, like, do we just walk out here for nothing? And we just were sitting here, like, crying. And Dustin was, like, on the bottom. Like, he could feel the, his bait on the bottom. He was jigging. Catches a freaking fish. I'll, like, kind of overlay the footage right now. It was a Laker. Uh, first Laker of the day. It was a nice one. And then he dropped down again and caught another one, like, probably five minutes after that happened. And we're just like, what the hell? So, literally, Dustin's fishing old school. Can't see his bait. He's just pounding bottom and just doing this and gets whacked every once in a while and reels it in he's using like a like a white swim bait like kind of like i was using yesterday with the smelt that he caught yesterday a smelt head and uh he's caught two freaking lakers better than yesterday so far and i put on like the giant tube and a little kind of like a shine or the the head of a smelt and i'm just down there jigging right now kind of doing the same thing a bigger profile i'm going for that big daddy and yeah that's the update right now we're out here we're doing some fishing we can't see any of our electronics and we're dumb asses we don't know anything that's going on right now so i don't know i'm gonna try filming this and seeing what happens i guess i'm just gonna have to roll the clips continuously because i honestly don't know when a fish is gonna a bite because none of our sonars are working we can't see our baits or the fish react to the bait so that's a bummer but i don't know dustin's a freaking hammer you caught two lakers already bro dude i i don't know i'm the luckiest man alive i guess because i cannot see anything that's going on whatsoever he's, he's literally blind jigging he's just jigging like he's on bottom right there and he's jigged up and a couple times he caught a fish this is the old setup in the old slap shack we're a show we got the heater it's our holes Garmin and the flasher that don't work. I'm gonna try filming this guys. This has just been rough. I don't know. If I can hook up today on a Laker, that would be a huge plus for your boy. All right guys, this is what I'm using today. A big ass tube with a trailer hook and half freaking smelt. I don't know. We're gonna give this a go. I'm using a bigger bait than Dustin. I'm just doing it. We're sending it, fishing a hundred feet of water. No electronics, no knowledge to Lakers. We're just giving it a go. Using a 50 inch running gun. I don't know if I would use it in this application because we're inside a house and it's kind of small. We're not like hole hopping. If I was hole hopping, this might be an option for like walleyes or something, but we're gonna have to make do with what we have. It's not as heavy as I would like it either. You want a really heavy rod when you're jigging for these Lakers. And I do not have that, but that's not gonna stop us from the sand. So I'm on bottom right there, and you just gotta lift up like that, give it some jigs like that, and hope to God you just go blink. It's already happened to Dustin a couple times. Oh, I just got bit. Did you? Yeah. 100%. I was when I, I was lifting up mm -hmm. and I felt like doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, I think I got my first bite of the day, which is dope, but I also think I'm going to shorten up my rod I want a heavier rod and a shorter rod. I think maybe if I cut the eyelet like right there That would do do me good. I don't know. Is this is a good idea. I'm going for it. I'm going for it Ah, God, I just got fiberglass everywhere in my hand. That's really good for it Oh, dude, this is gonna be perfect. This is gonna be perfect. Oh yeah, this is a good move, I think. I don't know why I didn't think about this earlier. You got him? Oh God. Oh God, Dustin's on. Oh, I almost lost my knife, but Dustin's on. How's she feeling? Feeling pretty good. That's good, that's good. Well, you should be able to see him down the hole because it's so freaking clear. My guy, Dustin. I think that one bit like two or three times. Oh yeah. Bruh, oh, you're yeah. freaking beast, dude. Three today. You're a hammer, Dustin. Guys. Oh, look at that hook. Yeah, barely in there. God, my guy just whacked one. 
We'd love to see that. I need to finish making my makeshift rod and then I'm gonna get down there and hopefully catch a fish. All right, guys, the damage is done. I just finished making my new rod. I now have probably like a 40, 42 inch heavy. This is the uh, gonna be called the John Lehman running gun right there. Actually, this is gonna be called the John Lehman, I'm a big dumb idiot rod. And yeah, we're gonna see if that if that works. I don't know. I think I'm gonna get a better hook set with it. And yeah, this is gonna be all around better, a better thing for me. And this could either bite me in the ass or really help me. But Dustin already whacked, he's caught freaking three now. My man's is a freaking beast. He's using a smaller bait, but I'm just really stubborn. I don't feel like changing baits and I just, I don't know. I want to catch one on this tube because I think it's going to be lit. And I think if I catch one on the tube, it's going to be a good size one. But the bite's starting to turn on right now, I suppose. And I'm getting down there and hopefully I'll we'll whack a fish. I, I'm gonna switch baits. Dustin convinced me. Dustin has caught three fish and I've caught zero. Maybe I've had like one bite or two bites. I think it's about time I just switch over to the old Guggenbait Saucy Swimmer. The old tube jig just they didn't like it. Hey guys, it's your uh, trout expert John Lehman. And uh, hold on, let me fix my rat's nest. All right, Dustin convinced me. I switched back to the old Guggenbait Saucy Swimmer with a little head there, courtesy of Dustin from yesterday. And we're going to see if this gets the old job done. I'm using a half-ounce swim jig head. And, yeah, I'm going to plop her down, and we're going to make some magic happen. I just need one. If I catch one lake trout, my first ever lake trout, I will probably jump down the hole and never come back up because I'm so excited. I'm going to hold you to that. Okay. Oh. Hmm. I thought I got smacked. Oh. Oh. I'm on. I'm on, Let's dude. I'm go. on. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Keep it tight. Oh god, dude. I'm keeping tight. Oh no way, dude. Dude, no way. On the freaking John Lehman special rod. I just literally dropped down the saucy swimmer. This could be my first ever trout, Dustin. Oh god, dude. It feels pretty good. I, I don't know what a trout's supposed to feel like, but if I think it feels decent. Oh god, dude. Please stay pinned. Please stay pinned, dude. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, God, dude. I think it's not bad. Oh, God. Leader. Oh, yeah. There he is. Yes! Oh, God. Let's go. Let's go. First ever Laker, baby. Oh, my. Dustin was telling me all day, all freaking day, to change to a swim bait and I did my first ever Laker this is actually like a really good eater too so I think I'm gonna keep this one to eat oh my boys boys what the Sam hell oh, I'm amazed right now bro well I did a thing my first ever lake trout I finally did it I had to downsize my bait I mean that's I think they're so freaking pretty, dude. I'm gonna do a little uh, LFG, Rackley style here. Oh, God, dude. That is a pretty fish. Oh my God. I was saying this is a good eater. So I'm definitely doing a catch and cook on this song gun. I am so happy that I caught a fish, man. Oh my God. I'm proud of you. Dude. I literally just switched. Are you I glad just you tied on that swim bait. I am, dude. That was my first freaking drop, bro. And oh, it whacked it. Oh my God, such a pretty specimen. And the best part is we still have a while to catch some more. See so another one down there. you see another one down there. All right, well, first fish down. Hell yeah, brother. Is it time to bust open some snackies? Today on the snack menu, obviously goaded Dots pretzels. This is a change up. Bigs Taco Extreme Sunflower Seeds, Dustin. Those are gas. I know, I know Dustin's gonna like these. 
And then I got water, and then... Cream pie dream donuts? I don't think it says that. What? That's big, dude. Oh, God. That's huge. Oh, God. Oh, God. Dustin's on. He's a big fish. Oh, God. Start my camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm reeling That's up. Huge. I'm reeling up because I don't want to get tangled. Oh god. Oh dude, god. Look dude. at this. Oh god, it's huge. Is That's this even fun. a Laker? I don't know. I don't know, dude. Oh god. Oh. 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 What is that, dude? Oh my god, this is gonna be a giant Laker, Dustin. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh my god. We were literally just hanging out watching TikToks, and Dustin just started picking up his rod. He just got whacked, right? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. This is that one bite we were looking for. Bro. This is that one bite we were looking for. We were watching TikToks, and all of a sudden, Dustin just picks up his rod and jigs it a couple times, and he gets absolutely smoked. And he has probably a just absolute giant fish on. We have no clue what it is. It was peeling line, like absolutely peeling line. And, I mean... How does what's what's your thought process right now, my guy? My thought process is I'm finally getting some line back that he just took. He's tired now, huh? All right, and you're using what the the true grip by Frostbite? Look at that thing, putting the work in. Oh, tired of your arms. Oh, I can't move this thing. Well, we'll just wear him out. You're good. He's going on another run. Oh my! Let's go. I'm gonna. Yeah, close that, please. What the... Oh! No. Did you snap? No, I st he got off. No. Wow, I don't know what that is. I'm eating sunflower seed. This fish literally bit probably like like three, four times. Finally hooked up. Feels hmm, pretty similar to the last one I caught. It's cool I can see him down there. You can see him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there he is. Ah, noise. Noise, John. Well, I, uh, well, we saw what happened to Dustin. I'm sorry, buddy. He had, like, probably the biggest fish of his life to ever hooked up. And, uh, we lost it. Uh, there's nothing he could have done. It just wasn't. Didn't have the thing fully, but anyways, I started eating sunflower seeds and uh, I was getting bit by this little guy right here This is my second ever lake trout and finally after like four tries I managed to hook up with him, but beautiful fish. I'm gonna let him go right now Get down there See you later sweet. Nice. I mean two Lakers for me Dustin has five five or something. Yeah, I'm still at five five so lost two now <laughs> I'm so sorry, but yeah, we're having a good time. At least I, I think we are having a good time. I got a mouthful of some pearl seed. Oh God, dude, I got him. No, Did dude, I. Have it? Oh, he just came off. Yeah, I had him on. Brent. Whew, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a couple hours and we haven't really caught anything. Um, Dustin did catch a pretty big fish. I'm not gonna show it on this channel. You're gonna have to go over to the Smack'em channel to see what he caught, but it's pretty cool. But yeah, I think that is actually gonna be 
our time here on Lake Superior. I mean, I know it wasn't, I didn't have like an absolute sleigh fest, but it was just fun being out here, man. I mean, if you just take a look around, this is the Apostle Islands. It is so freaking beautiful out here. I mean, I just feel like I'm out here by myself. Look at this, just so pretty. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. And to come out here and target a fish that I've never caught before and actually catch two of them, it made the trip freaking awesome. But you know, this video is not gonna end right here because I like to throw things into the grease. So I'm gonna pick the cam back up once we're back in Fargo or wherever we may be and we're gonna cook up this lake trout. Eventually. And it is the next day, guys. I am not at Lake Superior anymore. Unfortunately, I am back home and I am getting kind of hungry. It is currently, let's see here. It doesn't say the time right there. Well, it's dinner time and I am hungry, but let's take a look inside the fridge and see what we got. Open this boy up and bam, look at that. That is a lake trout fillet. I ended up cleaning the lake trout yesterday and I just cut off half of the filet for today and I put the other half inside of here just because I'm by myself and I don't think I could eat two because it's pretty big. So I got one of them out right here and it absolutely looks phenomenal. I mean, I don't know much about lake trout, but that looks like a freaking salmon, dude. Look at that. I think I am going to do just a simple, simple recipe in case you guys at home catch one and want to clean one and don't have much time to do it or something like that, or not really the fanciest chef or anything like that. I'm going to teach you guys a tinfoil oven method that is super good for trout. So stay tuned. Alrighty guys. So the first thing we're going to do is get some tinfoil, just like so. I just want to get a good amount here. Yes, sir. Okay. Then we are gonna take some Pam, nothing too special. We're just gonna spray it all on this. So nothing sticks, just like that. Next, we're gonna take our lovely lake trout via myself that I caught, and we're gonna slap her down on this son of a gun, just like that. Oh God, yeah, just like, take that in guys. That looks absolutely delicioso. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of seasoning right now. And I think, what should I start with? Should I start with the butter? Uh, I think that might be a good idea. I'm gonna take some butter, uh, just like a little stick like that. Get a knife. And then I'm gonna take some pieces and just kind of cut it off and put it on my lake trout, just like that. As you guys can see, nothing too crazy. Just putting some butter on there and that should soak up nice when it's cooking. It should just spread everywhere and it's gonna be very delicious. So for sure, definitely, definitely don't go easy on this. Just let her have it because butter makes everything delicious. All right, so now that we got the butter, we're gonna take some Traeger Fin and Feather Rub. This has become one of my favorite rubs, honestly. It's so freaking good. We're gonna take this and we're just gonna just give her a send on this guy. And I mean, get her in there. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that smells good. Then we're gonna take some lemon juice, as you can see, some limon juice. We're gonna squeeze it on there just like that. Get a good helping of that. All right, so that is probably good on the old lemon. And then this is major key. We're gonna take some Parmesan cheese, all right? It's garlic Parmesan cheese. And we are going to douse this son of a gun in this. This right here is what makes the fish delicious. And I mean, so good. Oh, God, yeah. All right, so now we're gonna do a little bit of folding here. So we're gonna take this guy, do a little bit of that, then fold these corners up just like that, all right? And now this is ready to go inside of the oven. And what you're gonna do is put this in the oven next. You're gonna set your oven to 375 degrees, okay? Once it reaches that temperature, you put this in there for 18 minutes. It's supposed to be like 15 to 20, but I think a 18 minute is gonna be delicious. So I will see you guys once this is all done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been 18 minutes later exactly, and we're gonna open this up and see how it looks. I'm a little bit nervous. I've never had lake trout before, never cooked it. I'm about to see how this turned out, first time ever. Oh, 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 oh. oh my. Guys, does that not look so freaking good? Holy crap. 
I'm actually shocked how good this looks. It, it looks amazing. I'm gonna get my plate ready and uh, dig in here because this making me hungry. It smells good. I'm about to smash this, boys. I have a little bit of rice here. All right, so we're going to let's just cut off a little bit and put it on top of the rice. Is it? Oh my god, it's so flaky, dude. Let's get a little bit of this. Put it on my plate. Mmm. Looks like a pretty gosh darn good plate if I do say so myself. Now the moment of truth, guys, all right? I'm gonna take a bite of this. Should I take a bite with the skin or nah? All right, oh, that's hot, that's hot. All right, we got lake trout right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Does it look good? It's hot, it's hot. Wow. Mm. Mm hmm. That's so good. Honestly, I don't even know how to explain it. Look, look at this. Look at this. The skin comes right off. Shoop. Just like that. And you're left with a boneless little fillet here. We're gonna try some with some rice now. A little bite of rice and lake trout. Oh my god. I could literally eat this every day. This is so good. It's so moist. And flavorful. Uh, the butter and the seasonings were A1 together. This meal is so good. Oh, you guys are probably hungry at home. Ah! Oh, God, guys. Literally, I was about to do the outro and freaking Dustin FaceTime me. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can see. Nothing on my plate. And uh, yeah. Nothing on that guy anymore. I absolutely mauled. That was one of the like better meals I've had in a very long time. That was so, so delicious. Like I don't really hear a lot of people like keeping lake trout to eat. And I mean, I know it's because they're, you know, the kitchen, the obviously like the really giant ones. I understand to throw those back because like, yeah, it's, you want to keep those in the system and like their meat gets bad after they get so big. But little eaters like that, like 20s, Oh my goodness, so freaking good. I literally want to go back to Lake Superior right now just so I can catch some more and eat more of those because, oh, you guys need to go out and do that because it is so freaking delicious and they're super fun to catch, like, best of both worlds, right? Reflecting back on my first time ever fishing Lake Superior and for Lakers, I would rate it a 10 out of 10. So much freaking fun. Um, that lake is a lot different than anything I've ever fished before. It's, it's definitely a new learning curve, but uh, it's, it's so much fun as well as the fish, the, the lake trout fight so hard. And I feel like when you're fishing a hundred feet deep and for these amazing creatures, you never know what you're going to pull up because it, it could literally be like a 50 incher. Like that's, you know, that's not cap. It could happen. I'm really curious what Dustin missed or what got off. That was a very big fish and uh, we're, we're both not going to be able to see for the next couple of days just because we both want to know what kind of fish that was. But oh, man, it was a great trip. Huge shout out to Scott and the boys over at Real North. Um, they kind of taught us how to do everything the first day. And then the second day, Dustin and I went out and tried a new spot by ourselves. Like we, we literally, we went out we have like no experience and we caught, I think we landed seven lake trout by ourselves, which is pretty cool um, in my book. I think that's really, it, it makes you feel better about yourself. I don't know, it was super cool. But drop some comments down below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed today's video and let me know, do you guys want me to go back to Superior? Because I am actually like thinking about going back out there. I wanna see how this video does and I wanna see how you guys at home uh, thought of the video. I want to know how you guys thought about it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We will catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>